What is it like to be the first captain to lead a South African side to a Test Series win in 10 years in the subcontinent? Um, yeah, I don't necessarily enjoy um, stuff like that. So um, for me, it's more special being a part of a team that's just won for the first time um, in 10 years in the subcontinent. So um, as a player of the team, incredibly proud. Um, obviously incredibly happy as well with being able to, to, to get a series win here. And um, obviously knew it was never going to be easy, but very fortunate that we, we had some special performances along the way that got us into really strong positions and, and we were able to apply pressure through that. So um, yeah, a proud moment for all of us, absolutely. And, and one that we'll reflect back on in the years to come as a, as a special tour. No, no, not at all. Um, we were mentally prepared to, to go the long haul to, to late into day five. Um, as an opening batter, I know batting in, in times like that, it's, it's really not easy. There's, there's nothing to gain and, and can be quite tricky. So um, along with the fact that we wanted to almost use the new ball twice, so for 10 overs to 15 overs the night before and then still have a relatively new ball the next day. So. Um, didn't think it would be it would be sitting in now at the, the end of today that the game would be done, but um, yeah, some some special bowling stuff and, and bowling and partnerships that um, were extended for long periods of time and, and ultimately got us the wickets to, to be able to sit in now. Yeah, it's been, it's been very special. Um, for us as a, a group of players, we've never won a, a, a game or a series in the subcontinent, so um, that makes it very special. Obviously, to, to be still in the mix in terms of the log for the, the World Test Championship is, is a great thing as well. So um, you want to keep your name in the hat, you, you want to keep plugging away and, and, and see where you, you sort of lay in four Test matches time. But, all you can really do is, is look after each, each day of each test match at a time and, and see where it gets you. So um, it'll, it'll be a, a tour we reflect on with, with very sort of special memories and, and a tour that will sort of keep very close to us for the years to come. Um, so I want to talk about the, the mentality of this team and do you sense that there's a mentality shift happening because you reach the final of the T20 World Cup and under your captaincy in South Africa won the under-19 Yeah, it's, it's nice to hear things like that. Um, it's been a, a, a tough journey at times and to, to slowly be progressing is, is a really good thing for us. Obviously the two formats are um, understandably completely different, but um, to, to come on a tour like this to get a positive result is big for us as a, as a test team. Um, to make a final at a T20 World Cup, it's big for us as a, as a T20 team. So. Um, if we can keep putting in good performances like that, uh, we don't really know what the ceiling is because we haven't managed to, to lift the trophy as, as per se. So, um, but we do believe that we have the players in the country to be able to do so, but um, by no means will it be easy. Uh, the journey itself has been incredibly difficult, but um, worth the fight, worth the hours, worth the sacrifice. So um, that's pretty much how we see it. Um, give of your absolute best. Make sure you're really well prepared and um, see where it gets you at the end of the day. Uh, uh, with all your great uh, respect and credit to your bowlers, but still, uh, uh, were you surprised that, that the, the way Bangladesh batters are dismissed going both innings? Uh, like uh, in the past, like past in past two days, the wicket was good. Was the wicket was 
throw to uh, bat today, or like it was also very good we get bat on today. What is your real edge? Yeah, it's a tough one. Um, I do think our bowlers bowled really well, and you have to you have to acknowledge that. Um, Test cricket is a strange thing when you when you far behind the game. Um, you, you want to make a difference as a player and you want it to happen now and unfortunately when you're that far behind the game it, it does take time so um, obviously I can, I can imagine that the, the Bangladesh team had, had massive best interests at heart playing that way but it didn't work out and that can happen in test cricket so um, a lot of the credit has to go to the first two days I would say um, batting really big ones and then being able to, to do what we did last night with the ball and take four wickets when ultimately you're just hoping for one with a maximum of maybe two. So that sets up the game very differently and um, allows us to, to keep attacking pretty much for the rest of the game. So with regards to batting yourself and also overall the team, a lot has been made about the top six. Uh, is it something that the batters are looking to work on in terms of averages? like? making it up to 40 or close to 50 in test cricket. One of your performances in general, um, are you a little disappointed that you didn't cash in on such a good cricket for as everyone else, three of them got their main test centuries? Of course I'm, I'm disappointed. I'm really hungry to, to score big runs again in test cricket, so um, we'll keep putting in the work and, and hopefully it can pay off. Um, but as for, for numbers and stuff like that, it's all quite relative. Um, you look at different surfaces that you play on um, and wickets around the world are so different to each other and, and have so many different types of challenges that you face as a batter and um, it can be tough to pump that average up but we don't speak about numbers and things like that, we just speak about a, a big impact on the game and um, there can be a time where scoring a knock of 60 or 70 is, is match winning. Um, and then there'll be times where big hundreds are, are match winning. So um, I'm certainly not too phased about numbers. Um, I don't think the rest of the guys are too phased either. But I think it's one of those things that will take care of itself. If you put in good performances consistently, then, then naturally the numbers will lift. So we're all definitely striving towards that. We're trying to be more consistent and, and trying to have good impact on the game. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was quite confusing be before coming here. Um, lots of unknowns and, and what about this and what about that. But um, if I'm being very honest, we, we've actually had a really good time here. The hospitality from a hotel point of view has been really good. Uh, people always are, are really friendly and welcoming. Um, and then logistically, how things, how things worked on the roads, the security side of things, um, it went really smoothly. So. From our side, we'd, we'd like to thank everyone involved um, who, who made that such a big success and um, yeah, we, we'll always look forward to coming back to Bangladesh.